This is Witchbase News for Friday the 24th of April 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the AXI Post Carrier Beta 1 survey ...the Carrier Beta 2 snapshot is coming ...Elite Dangerous Commanders get a new must have toolbox ...and an SRV built from Lego. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Regular viewers may remember a couple of weeks back we reported on one of the largest player groups in the game the AXI and their creation of a community wide poll to gather information to not only inform themselves and the wider community but also to feed back to Frontier a slice of the communities thoughts on the initial beta implementation of the fleet carrier system. Well now that beta 1 is over and the system has had some changes implemented with the promise of more changes to come the AXI is polling again to gauge the communities feelings again with the new changes taken into account. The organisers of the poll have gone to significant lengths to ensure that the questions are untainted by their own personal bias and requirements so this survey just like the last survey is not an anti xeno carrier survey but again very much attempts to address the issue of carriers from a community wide perspective. The poll will be running until the 27th of April and the results will be published fairly quickly after it closes. It takes just a couple of minutes to complete the anonymous poll and I've linked it in the description below. Still on the subject of fleet carrier beaters Frontier announced this week that the next snapshot of the game that will power fleet carrier beta 2 will happen on the 30th of April. The snapshot of the game is essentially a copy of the entire game universe that will be used as a basis for the next carrier beta in May. So if you want to buy a carrier in the next beta you have until the 30th to store up the necessary credits. We don't have a firm date for beta 2 yet but if I had to guess I'd say the beta release is probably a couple of weeks after that. A couple of points to note the next beta will see the console players joining in on the testing and what happens in the beta stays in the beta. Participating in it will have no effect on the live game whatsoever. There's a new website this week from YouTuber Down to Earth Astronomy. The Elite Dangerous Commanders Toolbox is essentially what the title implies and provides a number of very powerful tools, guides and example ship builds all in one place to ease your journey through the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. As well as a multi waypoint route planner and a shield testing utility the toolbox contains a material finder for engineering. Put in what material you're looking for and the tool will tell you where to get it and link a video guide detailing what you need to know. All in all a must have for your Elite Dangerous bookmarks. And finally Nick Webb of the SPVFA has been building a scale model of an SRV in Lego. But not just a palm of your hand scale model ...the beast of a build is mini figure scale and also has powered lighting. Nick estimates that the build contains 2100 parts ...1953 ,000 of which were ordered specifically for the build at a cost of over £200. It's a hell of a thing to see. Links to photos of the Lego Scarab are on the official forums and in the description below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.